Hey guys, this is Sam. Welcome to another episode of What's My Obsession with Expired Film, aka following Sam to random places and watch me take meaningless pictures. This week, we're going to San Diego. For how close San Diego is from Los Angeles, I only been there once for work, so this will be a first time tourist experience, sort of. All right, we are finally here. Hui! All right, we are here. This is pretty nice. There's a guy at the front who brought all my luggage up, and he was telling me all about the hotel, where to eat, where to grab drinks, and there's a stop box that opens at 5 a.m. I just drop off G at work. And I'm gonna rest a little bit. Maybe I'll go out. I did brought a whole bunch of films, and I'm thinking I'm gonna play with all of them. Just like when you have too many boyfriends or girlfriends, and you can't decide which one to date on Valentine's Day, so you group text them all and try to fit them in different time slots. The first location is this university library located in UC San Diego. From my understanding, it became much more of a landmark after Nolan decided to use it in the movie Inception. Well, not this actual building, but use it as an inspiration to build a movie set. I always like to start the day with a roll of expired film, just like having a morning coffee to wake myself up. The expired film are more like instant coffee. Nobody really drink them. But they still function the same as regular coffee, kinda. I was shooting with my lovely and heavy piece of brake, the Canon 1V with the 24-70 lens, on a roll of Kodak Color Plus 200, expired by 2013. I set the camera to ISO 100 to overexpose a little bit. This film is very greeny. For this specific location, I think it's too greeny in an unpleasant way. It's distracting. While I was editing the video, I realized I might like the video footage more than the film picture I shot. Again, this might be just the wrong film stock choice. I spent like an hour there. Took about 14 shots. The architecture is beautiful. Sunlight bounces off those mirror-looking walls that surrounded the building. The light moves. I was just sitting there. It's soothing and beautiful. Just to torture myself mentally, I took some shots with my Sony digital camera, which is the camera I shot this video with. I find myself liking the digital images better. Just because it's clean, sharp, the contrast is nice. And since I was shooting with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens, it's just easier to frame this gigantic building. Please don't judge me for liking the digital shots. All right, the first location is done. It is hot, but windy and cold. I can't decide I'm cold or hot. I spent quite a long time out there, but I feel like I still didn't find the perfect angle. Shooting architecture is definitely challenging for a portrait photographer. But yeah, on to the next one. All right, I just got to my second location, which is the Balboa Park. Judging by the parking situation, it is packed. It may not look like it in the video or in the picture because. Magic, because I try to avoid people. As a tourist, I figured I gotta go to the most cliche spot in San Diego, one of the most cliche spot, the Balboa Park. I've been doing this like playing on the streets since I was 17. Wow! It's called the handpan. The handpan. The handpan. The handpan. Ah! It's, it's almost like like a fusion from two countries. And three I countries at the end, because I mean, like they combine the Indian gatam instrument uh -huh. and the Trinidad and Tobago steel drum. 
oh. and they made this instrument in 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 Switzerland. Switzerland. the role of actor 100 and intended to try out for this video. When I walked in this little artist village area, I was kicking myself for using the expired film instead of the actor 100. Because look at this. Look at this colorful cute little doors. This would be perfect for the actor 100. All right, I am not happy about that. <laughs> that was, that would be an awesome opportunity to test out the Actor 100. But um, yeah, since I didn't finish the expired roll, I... Good morning. This weather is not very, um, not very nice. All right. Today is the second day in San Diego. I bought a whole bag of film, but yesterday I only managed to shot one single roll. I guess it's a good thing, means I'm more careful with what I'm shooting, but at the same time, I guess I was trying to say at the same time because I'm shooting film, I tend to hesitate a lot. Then I missed a lot of moments because of my hesitation. This, this. So on to the second day. I'm gonna take my Milanta X700 for film. Expired, fresh, fresh, fresh. I'm gonna start with this, and uh, as it's getting later, I may switch to this. And uh, if I'm still out at nighttime. I may switch to this or this. I don't think I'm gonna do this. I don't know. Ah. Yep. Never learn your lesson, Sam. Never learn your lesson. It's like you already have a beautiful and outgoing and cute girlfriend, and then you have to call your long forgotten emo ex and ask her out for a couple of instant coffee. Just why? I like instant coffee, by the way. Yep, I am that type of social pass. So I guess me and the expired foam, we deserve each other. It already start to rain. Oh, it's also really, really windy. Look at this. It was windy and rainy. For a whole 10 seconds, I thought about going back to the room just chill for the day. But my coffee is already poured, and my good coffee, aka Acta 100, is still waiting. So let's go! Alright, if you're seriously waiting to see the Acta 100, it never happened, so you may already close out this video. For the rest of the video, I was shooting on a Fuji Color C200, which also expired in 2013. Thank you. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Sir, can I take a picture of you? Sure. Uh, Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this will be the day I ease myself back into the long abandoned world of street photography. After I moved to Los Angeles, I stopped doing street photography. The main reason being, I stopped walking around. Everywhere I go, I drive. This is also one thing I hate about Los Angeles. So back there, I was just asking for directions and that two gentlemen, they are so nice. 
they not only told me the directions where I want to go and they also pointed me like places they think it's cool to take pictures of. One guy was asking, do you want to take a picture of us? I was like, yeah, sure. And then, yeah, I just snapped a picture right there. They didn't even ask me for like my contact information to like get the picture back or ask me to send the picture to them. I found that's really, really cool. The rain got heavy. I stopped by a coffee shop waiting for the rain to stop. Luckily, the rain didn't go on for too long. After the rain, the air was so fresh. Although the sun didn't come out, it still felt really, really nice. The tree looks greener, the leaf looks so lively. They are dancing in the wind, they look happy. And I just felt happy too. Oh well, this is on a 20 millimeter and uh, my camera is 50 millimeter. I don't think I can capture this whole thing, but it looks pretty epic. I was shooting on my trusty Minota X700 again. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I just got myself an ice cream with a 50 millimeter lens this time. 50 millimeter is kind of tricky for street photography, I feel like. I normally would prefer a little wider, like a 35. Hmm, but oh well, this is what I got, this is what I use. Later afternoon, I was walking along the coast. The sun is in and out of the clouds. Besides the library location, I think the expired phone still did a pretty decent job when giving enough light. I think the color and the texture fits the rest of the photo better. The green doesn't bother me nearly as much. There are a lot of magenta tone came out of the default scan, but after some color editing, I think I'm pretty happy about the result. 36 frames are a lot. I never thought I would say this. But since I spent longer time framing and taking these photos, most of the shots came out nicely. Also, I only shot two rows and I'm kind of bummed about not giving Ektar a try. This was an overall very successful trip. Look at all the stairs! I hope you like this week's video and this is Sam. I will see you next time. Maybe next time we will be drinking the finer coffee. Bye!